we did have the option. We could build it in-house, right? We, we, were, we were good at innovating. We make tools. We had about roughly eight developers at the time. Um, and so we just kind of went through like, what are the pros and cons of each of these options? So building in-house, I mean, one, we can build it exactly the way we want. You know, there's, if we want something that works well for us, then that's something that we could develop and put in, in this administration system. Uh, we felt like maybe in the long run, it might be cheaper, you know, um, we would own it, we would have it, we would, uh, it would be something that we would be able to use. And we could continue to customize it as things came up. I mean, one thing that uh, I think where we're Alpha is where we are today is because of our innovation. And then just our ability to customize products to our, to our agents and, and dealers needs. And, you know, we want to offer those, those, those types of products to them. We want to be able to give them what they need and what they want. And having a good system that allows us to do that was, was key to us. And so that was probably a pro that if we decided to build in house, that's something that we could, could handle. But of course, there's always some cons with that. Um, with, with only eight developers, we'd have to hire a lot more, you know, and, uh, and that would also increase the cost, right, of hiring more and getting them up to speed you know it's our industry is kind of a, a it's, it's a niche right um so there'd be a lot of training and helping them understand what type of uh industry this is and what we need to do you know there's always that fear what if we don't build it good enough now what now we've moved everything to this now we're kind of trapped and and that could really be detrimental to us you know if it didn't work and yeah do we know what to tell our developers to build. Um, so, so those are some of the things, you know, why we did built in house. Okay. You know, the thing I always like is when I help people guide through this decision is like you say, we know exactly what we need and what we can build today. And then your mm -hmm. president comes in and says, Hey, one of our biggest dealership groups just bought two power sports stores. You know, what do we do to yeah. support them? And you go, well, that wasn't in the initial requirements, <laughs> right? <laughs> Or somebody says, maybe we should try something in RV. So the thing I try and tell people is what's important is you have a system that if you want to build a layer, you do this. You build a unique layer on top of us to address some specific things. But, you know, you want to be able to turn around and come up with a surprise and find out there's already support for it there, right? And that's, one I think, one of the, the, the big benefits 